Hi there. So, the results to the election still aren't in. Um, I'm trying to make it look really close and that, you know, that Biden's going to get it. And I just, I have a hard time buying that. Um, and, you know, while I don't participate or care much about the system, Trump does represent, um, there is a choice being made here as far as our collective timeline. And um, Trump represents a more peaceful timeline. Um, Biden represents total tyranny, total control, swift, swift implementation of the NWA. Um, very quick. Trump, on the other hand, his intent is still to bring in the NWO. Both, that is the plan, both sides. Both sides are controlled by the same masters, ultimately, when you get to the very top. Um, but the Trump way is more to get the people to willingly follow and give away their liberties. You know, like he's playing this role of savior and and all these things. And they may sacrifice a bunch of pedophiles, but that does not, um, that won't end the evil here. That's still not getting the uh, top. Still not touching them. The actual control. I mean, that's, they likely don't even reside here. So, yeah, there's a dog. Um, but, but who are these supporters? Because, okay, I have, I saw a, um, a Facebook social experiment um, done by several people. And uh, it was go into your friends list and see like, go to the Trump page and see how many of your friends like it. Go to the Biden page, see how many of your friends like it. And then go to the Jorgensen or whoever the third person was and see how many of your friends like it. Okay. And I saw several people do this experiment. Like, several people posting it and then a bunch of replies on all of them. No one, no one had more supporters for Biden. No matter who the respondee was. Now... I did not ask my friends. I should have. I should have done a thing. But I did look at mine, and I have friends from all over the world. And it was 276 for Trump, 25 for Jorgensen, and 21 for Biden. So who are these Biden people? Um, probably a lot of them are dead and don't exist, and you know. But uh. I just, I don't think there's, any, I mean, and, and the whole concept of the Electoral College is just a way to hide the rigging and just a way to rig it. Because um, many, many times the selected president does not actually win the popular vote, which the popular vote is when you take each and every vote, like how many votes were there versus, you know, 50 million versus 51 million, okay? Um... Which, to me, isn't that pure democracy? Isn't that how everyone would be represented? Isn't this convoluted electoral college based on the population and blah, blah, blah? I mean, I've always felt it would make my vote count less as a state. Like, you know, we quickly went red. I mean, my vote didn't matter. But if my vote were actually counted in the popular, if the popular vote were what chose it, you know, I think you would have more participation. And it just, it seems like, I don't know. And for those that don't understand the Electoral College, I don't fully comprehend it myself, but basically they say, like, each state gets so many electoral votes based on their population. And so, like, a state with less population gets less electoral votes. And that's how it's done. And so, ultimately, 
you know, what happens is, is it's always down to one state or one county or one precinct or some crap that's always deciding the whole thing. And then, and then, like I said yesterday, you know, you've got the hanging Chad scandal in 2000 when Al Gore won both. He won the electoral and the popular, but I just, I, I, I find a hard time to believe. I, I find a hard, I'm having a hard time believing that Biden actually did that well in the polls. Um, now, the, let's see, there was a couple other things I was going to talk about. Oh, okay. And then, you know, they're obviously toying with us, though, with this whole thing to harvest more energy, more loose, um, leave, put more time in between the election and when the decision comes out to let people fight with each other and you know get get all nice and inflamed at their family members and friends and stuff that are on the opposite side you know ensure more fighting more more negative energy and uh, you know the, the other part of the plan is civil war and we the people need to comprehend that it is not your neighbor doing this to you it is all it is it is a small group at, of, of psychos that is doing all this and we the people need to take our power back period and you don't do it by participating in the system I now I think there are gonna be riots either way but honestly if Biden wins, I do see civil war happening because the Trump people are going to be furious. <sighs> now, if Trump wins, I don't think that's the way it's going to go. I don't, I don't think there will be a civil war. The left will get mad and they'll cry around and they'll burn some shit down. And, you know, if you're in the city, try to, you know, hunker down for a few weeks. But, um, I don't know. You know, and I, I've, I mean, ultimately my divination says that Trump will get it, but um, it's future-based, the future isn't, you know, the future isn't set in stone. And a couple readings have said that like Biden may get it and then they'll take it away from him and give it to Trump again. So let's just hope not. I wish they'd just end this today. Honestly, I haven't really thought about it much other than for the span of this video. So, I mean, like, I'm not focusing a lot of energy on it. But, I know that it is consuming many, many people right now. So, um, I don't know. Just try to, um, put, no matter what happens, you know, it is what it is. So, just try to enjoy your day and don't think about it. Have a good one.